Hello guys, welcome back to LineUp. For today's video, we are going to show you or discuss with you how to create front and back book cover in Canva. So if you're interested, let's start tutorial. So creating a cover, a book cover here in Canva is actually very easy. We could actually use different tools in order for us to do so. So we all know that a uh, book cover is something that makes or breaks your uh, book. Especially if people, uh, the mo uh, most of the time, people would actually base the co the actual content, you would judge the actual look of your book before actually judging the content of that book. So in this case, it makes or break your book. So how do we create our uh, book cover here? So first things first is you want to download or get a template that we could use for our book. So in this case, you want to go ahead and just go to Google here, just type in KDB template generator, open up Kindle Direct Publishing here, which in this case, the cover calculator. So this will actually give us the estimations that we need here. So first things first, you want to specify the binding type. So in this case, you got either specify paperback or hard cover. So for example, let's go and spe specify paperback. We have interior type here. So for example, let's go and choose uh, the standard color or a black and white. Let's have the paper type here. So either cream paper or white paper. We also have the reading direction here, so let's go and choose left to right. And we have the mesh per unit, so let's go and choose inches. And from here, you have interior trim size. So let's go and choose one. So in my case, maybe I want to use like 5.25 by 8 inches. Now, from here, what we need to do is we want to go ahead and choose, uh, specify the page count here. So this is really important because this actually uh, basically uh, determine uh, the uh, spine itself. So Maybe I want to say this is around like 200 pages only. So again, make sure the pages are correct. Let's go and click on it, calculate dimensions. And from here, this is our template. Now we have different sections here that we need to follow, but I'll be showing you how to use that later on. So just remember that we have a section here. We have a bleed. So in this case, outside that bleed is will, will be removed. So just keep that in mind. But let's go and click on download template. And once the template is downloaded, at the top right here, Let's go, as you can see, it's now downloaded. Let's go open it up in a new folder. Double click on it. Let's go and copy the PNG file here. Go back one page and just uh, extract it in here. As you can see here now, we have paperback. Now, let's go back into Canva. Now, in Canva, what we need to do is we want to go ahead and create a new design here. So we want to go and just start, start creating our actual cover. Let's go and click on Create Design at the top left here. And let's go and start with a template here to make this a lot easier for us. Let's go and start with a journal. Uh, template let's go ahead and maybe choose one here there are going to be a lot uh, to choose from here but you could also choose the awesome size here this is again uh, our size here is going to be a uh, 5.25 by 8 inches let's go and choose uh, 5.25 and go to 8 inches make sure to switch over to inches like what we saw before so 8 inches let's go ahead and click on create new design now from here, what we need to do is you want to go ahead and choose a template here. So there are already a lot of templates that you could choose from. So let's go and choose uh, journal, press enter. There are going to be a lot here. So in this case, you could go and just pick one uh, design here that you want to use. So in my case, maybe I want to use one that it's quite interesting here. So let's go and search for a bit. But yeah, so let's go and just choose one. Let's go and choose this one. Oh, by the way, this is a pro plan here. If you do see a crown on it, you need to have a pro plan in order for you to use it. So I was going to choose one that is not require me to pay for anything. I was going to choose this one. Just going to click on it. And the great thing about templates here on Canva is you can actually replace some of the elements that is already existing here, like the images that you see here, the text. So for example, instead of travel journal, so I'm going to say there's going to be a book about my life. You can add your name here. I was going to add our ends. And from here, you could also go to elements at the left side and just add whatever you want. Like, for example, you want to add like a dried flower. Let's go and click on see all on graphics and you could go and just start adding it in here. By the way, you could just click on it to add it. Go ahead and resize this. Move it around. As you can see, you can even rotate it just in case. And you can even change the opacity for it if you don't, if you just want it to be really subtle. As you can see right now, you can move things around as well. You can even delete this one just in case, like this one, this one, and this one. So, yeah. So, you can add whatever you want here. So, 
do what, whatever uh, it takes to edit this. So this actually depends on your creativity moving forward. But once you've added all the uh, details here uh, or the cover itself, you can just proceed with creating your back cover. Let's go and click on add page here. Let's go ahead and start designing this again. Well, whatever you want or whatever information you want, you can add a subheading. Uh, I sub uh, this one uh, from here. You can uh, even add like the QR code at the bottom right here as well. And uh, maybe I want to add like a flower to this one just to make things a lot more um, simpler for us. And let's go ahead and decrease the opacity for transparency for this one. Make this, uh, maybe add this one as well. But yeah, so once you've added your designs or whatever you want, let's go and click on share at the top right here. Let's go ahead and click on download. Let's go and choose uh, our format here. PNG is good. Let's go and click on download. And once it's actually downloaded, we want to go and just proceed on using our template that we just got before. So in order for you to use it, let's go ahead and go back here. Let's complete it. So you can see it's now downloaded by life. Or sorry, let's play this one. It's going to be downloaded. But first, let's go ahead and go back into our downloads folder. And from here, let's go ahead and extract this one. Copy them. Go back here and paste it in here. So you can see one, two. And let's go back into the main UI here for Canva. Now, what we need to do is you want to go ahead and click on the Create Design at the top left. Click on Upload at the left side here and click on Upload Files. From here, you want to go and choose your paperback uh, template that we just extracted before. Let's go ahead and click on Open. And from here, it's going to say use in a new design. And you could go ahead and choose a custom size here. And from here, you could, you could go and just base, basically expand this forward. So maybe I want to set this in a very specific one. So calculating everything, this is going to be 5.25 uh, by 8. And also the back here. And we also have the spine. So currently, it's around like 11. If I'm not mistaken, it's going to 11.41. Or in this case, zero point four fifty inches. So let's go ahead and calculate that. So we uh, came up with ten point ninety five by eight. Let's go and click on create new design. It should create a new design for us. As you can see, this image here will be uploaded, and our image is now being used. Now another thing that you need to take note here is you need to make sure this actually fits uh, your uh, your sections here again there are going to be some bleed that you need to uh, take in consideration here so again the outer part here is going to be your bleed so make sure you're not past that let's go ahead and basically uh, change this let's go and change the transparency here a bit and from here let's go ahead and start adding our elements so first things first is we want to go ahead and choose a chain, uh, our background here maybe we want to set this to a very specific color so let's go ahead and choose one here, like make it brown. But let's go ahead and start adding our photos. So let's go ahead and go to uploads at the left side here. Click on upload files, or you can just basically uh, drag your files here. So we have one and two, which just be extracted before. Let's go ahead and wait for it to completely be uploaded. But once they're uploaded, let's go ahead and click on it to edit. And you can basically resize this. Again, you want to go and just stick to the size that you have here. It's uh, not to ex uh, exceed uh, the actual bleed part. Add our back call, uh, sec uh, back here. Again, make sure you fit this one real nicely here. And from here, once you've done that, you can just basically delete the photo before. And you could go just to start designing the spine here. So whatever you, uh, whatever design that you want. So for example, I'm just going to add like patterns or random uh, patterns here. Uh, maybe I want to use one that looks uh, cool. Or just to use the uh, the flowers So you see here. Let's go ahead and just click on it. And it's going to click on right click on it. And you want to go ahead and just go to uh, the option here for layers. And you want to go ahead and send to back. And you want to go ahead and just uh, reduce the transparency here and start designing it. Like you can add whatever text or uh, information in this case. But yeah, so you could go ahead and just click on share to top right here and save this one. And this is now your template. Now, again, keep in mind there are going to be bleed. This is where there will be cutting in the ends here. 
but yeah so in this case that's how you build your cover so hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to you enough thank you for watching